I fell down. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, oh, MG. Ah, it's been quite a journey for me the past couple of months and um, I'm coping but yeah it's been crazy and it's life but today I want to share with you in my opinion what I think it's one of the most gorgeous piece of art and a reflection of creativity that it's a nod to the 60s, 70s, 80s even. Guys, and it's this gorgeous item that I bought from the company Finoel. Oh, as I mentioned to you guys before, in a past Zara haul, I love a nice whitewashed denim. And when I saw this particular piece, it really spoke to me. Actually, it screamed at me and was requesting that, yeah, to take a look. It's definitely an exclamatory piece, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's a piece that for me, it's not only an investment, but it's a forever, forever piece. And I absolutely love it because if I was to be a garment, this would be me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you girls have experiences or if any of you guys, because I know that there are a few of you out there, if you have ever... um give a girl that you like one of your best come on lines like one of the most popular ones it's like whoa god must have taken his time on you because mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. <laughs> it's corny isn't it <laughs> but it could make a girl feel good i'm telling you anyway when i saw this piece it reminds me of the fact that there are designers that are still out there taking their time to create gorgeous works of art. And guys, this is a gorgeous work of art. <laughs> It's a denim like no other and I absolutely fell hard for this piece. It's a piece that cinches the waist. I bought it a little bit too big for me but I am still rocking it. And high waisted. That pleated detail that I told you guys that I love. Yeah, yeah, Mwah. yeah, yeah, oh my God, huh. I can't get over it, it's just gorgeous, it's, yeah, it still leaves me speechless, and I bought it because not only do I like to represent great artistic and creativity and to give a nod to the past, but it's the fact that these are creators and designers that take their time to really create and they do so consciously. And by these, I'm referring to companies such as The Me, where I got this absolutely stunning piece. They definitely keep sustainability or they're very conscious of the items that they're creating out there for us to consume. It's not a situation where you are forced to consume, but at the same time, they are not overproducing their items. And that I absolutely love. And yes, there may be some things that are 
beyond some of us budgets but keep in mind that these pieces are meant to be forever pieces and you would definitely get your cost per wear and i say that because these pieces are made to order which means there are no wastes and it's something that i wish so many companies could really really adopt seriously that's the reason why i really really appreciate the fact that when you have social responsibility and that your creativity reflects your values oh you have me you have me right there and especially when it incorporates my mantra yes i must add that creating denim is really hard on the environment in the sense that could be an inefficient form of water or energy consumption and the consolation ever is that you don't buy too often and it's made to order so i absolutely love this piece and you guys know my hauls are not huge hauls because i am very mindful of how and when i buy so therefore this piece i think really really deserves its own it needs to be spotlighted it needs to shine on its own without any distractions from any other companies so that's why this mm -hmm. is being featured today and i'm going to style it up a bit for you to show you what it looks like how I may wear it and guys, yeah, I love it. <laughs>